There was an amazing piece about Ted Cruz when he was at Harvard Law School, written by the Boston Globe a couple days ago. I have to give you a couple quotes and stories from this. So first, uh, on Ted's identity, quote, Ted Cruz was, and in many ways still is, an actor. In high school, he says, he considered dropping out and moving to California to pursue an acting career. His parents talked him out of doing it. Wow. What happened, Ted? Uh, it's him, it's Ted Cruz, and it's all the Republicans who say, the liberal bastion of Hollywood, immoral people corrupting our children. Anyway, uh, let's go to Hollywood. I want to become an actor. So reiterated in this piece, quote, a former roommate told the magazine GQ recently that Cruz preferred to study only with graduates of Harvard, Princeton, or Yale, dismissing the rest as, quote, minor ivies. Oh, oh, what happened, man of the people? No, but this is this is the guy who says, oh, these Democrats, they're out of touch. They don't understand the regular guy. They don't understand the blue-collar worker. They don't get it, man. They don't get their hands dirty. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, be with the be with the farmers and the hard workers and everything. Anyway, uh, get all the the lower class people out of my presence. I only study with the creme de la creme. I'm I'm part of the cream, which always rises to the top. I don't have time for these little these these peasants these peasants around me. He, awesome, 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 awesome uh, story. So essentially the man of the people is like, yeah, fuck the people. I keep, I tell you guys this every day. Uh, there are so many people in the Midwest, so many people, even in the Northeast, look, I had some people in my family who were like this, where they're actually convinced that the Republicans are the populist party. <laughs> and their argument is, no, dude, you don't get it. Oh. When you start earning a big paycheck, son, you'll understand you want to vote for people who don't take as many taxes out of it. Ha, 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 ha. People who make uh, $40,000 a year have said this to me. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no, you idiot. Stop it. The Democrats want to cut your taxes more if you make 40 grand, 50 grand. If you make less than 250 grand, the Democrats are your party. I get it if you make over 250 and you want to vote for the Republicans because they sell out to you and they give you all the benefits. The people who need the help the least get all the help from Republicans. I get it. But I, people, middle class people, lower middle class people have said to me, oh yeah, no, I like Republicans because they cut my taxes. No, they don't. No, they don't. But the best story yet. You ready? Ted acted in a play. He was one of the, the lead actors in The Crucible. The first night's performance went well, quote, so he spent the cast party imbibing himself, imbibing so much Everclear, a powerful grain alcohol, that he couldn't make it through the next night's performance. His fellow actors had to coax him into going on stage, but by act three, his condition worsened. A video of the performance shows him sitting on a bench on stage his head buried in his hands for nearly five minutes straight. After meekly delivering a line, he walked off stage in the middle of the scene, forcing cast members to improvise around the departure of a lead character. He didn't return the remainder of the play. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. There's your family values right there. Now look, I get it. If you're in college, everybody acts up, everybody you know, goes wild, drinks a lot, has a lot of sex, whatever the case is. Most people who go to college have that experience to one degree or another. I'm not saying you know, you go there and it's balls to the wall for 100% of people. But to one degree or another, you break loose, you get to reinvent yourself and do all these other things. But this is a guy who always rails against the problem of, you know, oh, don't drink too much, underage drinking is bad, you have to be responsible, you have to be in favor of family values, you have to be a traditionalist, you have to you know, walk the higher path and be above the fray and don't cave into peer pressure or do any of these things. Everclear, he was drinking Everclear. If you know anything about alcohol, you know Everclear is one of the strongest ones they make. What is it, like 100 proof? So, something along those lines, it's insanity. <laughs> hypocrites, man, hypocrites. But the most telling quote here is at the end, from Ted, quote, 
Going to school on a campus where the faculty overwhelmingly disagrees with you and where the student body overwhelmingly disagrees with you is challenging. If you go in without a firm foundation, it can undermine what you believe. So in other words, let me decode that for you. What he's saying is, look, dude, I did all my brainwash, I had all the brainwashing done and I already married my ignorance before I went to college. And then when I was in college, uh, I didn't let the, those liberals undermine my beliefs or change my mind on anything. So in other words, what he's saying, he's admitting to be stubborn, to being stubborn. He's admitting that he already made up his mind about everything before he even got into college. Which, by the way, misses the exact point of college. College is supposed to take you from being, you know, a blank slate, if you will, from being relatively uneducated and not knowing all that much. You're supposed to learn. You're supposed to learn and change your mind on things because new information should lead to new thinking and new theories and new conclusions, right? But he's saying, no, I made up my mind before I went into college. Well, isn't that wonderful? We have a politician admitting he's the same fucking guy he was in high school. Now, I ask you, do you believe everything you believed in high school still? Because if you, if you do, man, you kind of miss the whole point of growing and maturing. But he's saying, look, I had to keep all of those liberal facts that they tried to get in my head when I was at school. I had to, you know, I didn't let it undermine what I already believed. So in other words, I'm married to my preconceived notions. I'm married to my prejudices. I'm married to my ignorance. Doesn't matter what you tell me that contradicts it, I will say you're wrong. Look, the guy is pathetic, man. But look, it's clear, it's clear. Here's a guy who, he pretends to be a man of the people. He's not, he despises uh, regular people. Uh, he pretends to hate Hollywood and the acting elite. He wanted to be one of them, he wanted to be one of them. He pretends like, oh, substances are bad, be a traditionalist like Ronald Reagan. He drank Everclear to the point where he had to walk off stage in a play, right? And he's admitting to you, hey, I don't learn, I don't learn. So here is your Ted Cruz in a nutshell. Exactly what we thought he was. A smirk walking around in a suit and a massive fraud.